Hi everyone, this is Andrea Rubinsky, and this is a 21st century video for the LEAP program at Jamestown Public Schools. Remember to complete the survey listed in the comment section as all surveys completed are entered into a prize draw to win a new school bag filled with school supplies. This lesson is called Wheel of Coping Strategies and it is meant for grades two through six. So all we'll need for this activity is two paper plates, some markers or colored pencils or crayons, a paper fastener, a push pin, and just a pair of scissors. So our first step for this activity is to take one of our paper plates and we're gonna cut a triangle starting from the edge, moving toward the center. And once we have our triangle all cut out, we're gonna take our other paper plate and we're gonna place it right underneath the one that we had just cut. So now I want everybody to think of four coping strategies that they like to use whenever they feel upset or anxious or angry or stressed out. And remember, a coping strategy is something that we do or practice whenever we don't feel 100% ourselves or whenever we feel like we need just a minute to breathe and relax. So my first coping strategy that I like to use is to slowly count to 10. So I'm gonna write my first coping strategy on my second paper plate right where my triangle cutout is. So I'm gonna write slowly count to 10. So once we have our first strategy all written, we're gonna take our first cutout paper plate and we're gonna rotate it to the very top of the second paper plate. And now we're gonna think of another coping strategy that we like to use to help us to relax. So I'm gonna write, imagine my happy place. And again, we're gonna rotate our first paper plate all the way to the right-hand side. Now my third coping strategy is to take a deep breath. One more time, we're gonna rotate our first paper plate all the way to the very bottom. And we're gonna write down our last coping strategy. Mine will be to read my favorite book. Okay, so once we have all four coping strategies written on our second paper plate, we're going to take our push pin and we're going to insert it right at the center of our two paper plates and we're gonna push it through all the way to the other side of both of our plates. And we're gonna make a little hole with our push pin at the very middle. You might wanna have an adult help you out with this part. And once we have our hole, we are going to take our paper fastener and we're gonna put it right through. And don't forget, we're gonna turn our paper plates over and we're just gonna flatten out our paper fastener just to make sure that our paper plates are secured together. We're gonna flip our plates back over and now it's time to decorate. So we can decorate however we'd like. So I'm gonna write wheel. Coping strategies and 
and I might do some lines on the border just to brighten it up a little bit. And then maybe I'll do some polka dots right where our triangle is. And one last touch. I'm just gonna put a little arrow coming from the center, going toward our cutout. Okay, perfect. And here is our finished product. So we can use this as a coping method whenever we don't feel 100%. So we can turn it around all the way. And this will give us some ideas of some awesome coping strategies that we can use whenever we need them. Okay, perfect. So don't forget you can win an awesome school bag full of goodies if you complete the survey listed in the comment section. More videos are available Monday through Thursday in August. If you want to access more free leap activities in August, like our Storytime Zoom or one-to-one -one tutoring, contact your school or Chautauqua Striders on their Facebook page. Thanks for watching.